The Yellow River is called the Mother River for a reason. Here above the Huang Huai Hai Plain, one can easily discern how the Great River nurtures the land, bringing not only water, but also fertile farm fields. This section of the river, having just left the lowest plateau, carries with it silt, which later spread across the plain. Over time, the silt became arable land, fertile and easy to irrigate, all thanks to the river. As early as 7,500 to 9,000 years ago, people lived and prospered here. But silt can be a problem. If it keeps accumulating, water levels rise, bringing disaster along the course of the Yellow River during flood season. For this reason, for millennia, people have been taking precautions to stop the river overflowing. To that end, they have consolidated cities and dams, building rows of T-shaped dikes to protect the banks. And with completion of the Shaolung Di water control project in 2001, a key project was established for the treatment and development of the Yellow River. Every year before flood season, the Xiaolong Di Dam welcomes its largest batch of tourists. They've come all this way to witness the formidable waves. With thousands of tons of water pouring down per second, visitors, even if they've come with the best and latest rainy day gear, can't fend the river off. Little do they know, a sophisticated system controlling water and sand hides right behind this splendor. By measuring and calculating water flow, thanks to a joint operation of multiple hydro facilities upstream and downstream, water and sand in the Yellow River, while in motion, are under precise control. With the gushing releasing, the Yellow River has been transporting sand into the sea throughout its whole course. <laughs> 